In an era where adapting comic books into films has become commonplace, sometimes one will appear right out of left field to set a new trend. Released in 2009, it's one of the most violent science fiction slash superhero movies adapted from a comic book you'll ever see. Yes, we're talking about Watchmen, and this is Sci-5. Watchmen was based on the critically acclaimed graphic novel written by Alan Moore and artist Dave Gibbons, which first appeared in 1986 before being released as a single volume in 1987. What makes the world of Watchmen so unique is it's set in an alternative 1985, where Richard Nixon has continued to remain President of the United States for multiple terms, after not only achieving a decisive US victory in the Vietnam War, but where the Watergate scandal never occurred. Much like the real 1985, the Cold War is in full swing between the US and the USSR, which is reaching a point where nuclear war is inevitable. In addition, Costume superheroes exist in this reality, although only one of them, Dr. Manhattan, actually has any genuine superpowers and as a result is considered the product of the US government. As for the story itself, the film presents a classic whodunit scenario as a man called Edward Blake, who unbeknownst to the world at large is actually a retired costume superhero called The Comedian, is discovered to have been murdered by a person or persons unknown. It's worth noting there are two versions of the film, the theatrical release as well as the director's cut. The primary difference between the two is the director's cut features the Tales from the Black Freighter animated sequence, which should appeal to fans of the graphic novel. Whilst the violence itself is amped up considerably to be far more graphic and intense, which actually enhances the disturbing nature of the story. As a wonderful piece of creative art, Watchmen has one of the best, and somewhat longest, opening credit montages you'll ever see in a sci-fi film. Set to Bob Dylan's The Times They Are A-Changin', this sequence, which runs for more than five minutes, details a retrospective look at the story's alternative history, featuring not only the formation and success of the costume Minutemen and Watchmen superheroes, as well as some of their violent fates, but includes actual real-life events which have been skewed to fit into the new timeline. Somewhat ironically, the continual appearance of negative images from the 1940s through to the 1970s, both real and fake, serves as a sobering reminder that even though many decades have passed since this era, the world today really hasn't changed all that much. One of the underlying moral messages of the film is how the keeping of dark secrets can corrupt an individual's emotional and mental stability. Unlike in traditional superhero films, the self-proclaimed superheroes in Watchmen are flawed, troubled people, where even the very concept of being a superhero, as in someone who strives to serve and protect society, is blurred depending on their personal motivations. In addition, Watchmen reinforces the notion that even heroes are capable of doing evil things, which they will then justify to themselves as being necessary for the greater good. Ultimately, Watchmen is all about perspective and how every action and subsequent reaction has two points of view. So in the end, all that remains is for the audience to decide which one they accept. Included as part of the Watchmen universe was a limited TV series released in 2019 also called Watchmen. Set 34 years after the events of the film, the series is more aligned to the original graphic novel, especially the ending which was changed for the film. Conversely, the series also focuses on the fate of Rorschach's journal and his writings, which was a key part of the movie. For this reason, the series is an excellent companion piece for any Watchmen fan. Featured in the film are the main protagonists, starting with the mysterious Rorschach. Whilst other Watchmen include Night Owl 2, Daniel Dryberg played by Patrick Wilson, and Silk Spectre 2, Laurie Juszczyk portrayed by Marlon Ackerman. Whilst one of the two antagonists is the comedian, Edward Blake played by Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who despite being murdered at the start of the film, is revealed in flashbacks to be a ruthless killer. Under the outstanding direction of Zack Snyder, Watchmen polarised critics when it was first released. However, the one thing they agreed on was that the deconstruction of the typical superhero was a refreshing change from the usual popcorn fare, even if it was rather confronting and disturbing. So who should see the film? Needless to say, this movie is definitely not for children. Watchmen, especially the director's cut, features extreme levels of violence and a large amount of nudity, so it's clearly aimed at the adult market. Furthermore, devoted fans of the graphic novel will need to make up their own mind about seeing the film, as there are distinct story differences between the two mediums which they may not agree with. So if you haven't seen the film before, then you're in for something truly unique. Watchmen isn't your typical science fiction slash superhero movie, and it certainly won't appeal to everyone. Especially those who believe that superheroes are the perfect embodiment of wholesome purity. But if you're prepared to take a step down a dark path outside of the often formulaic MCU and DC entries, then for that reason alone, it's well worth watching. Thank you.